Hey, you doing here? Okay, I'm back. Uh, working on the dryer. And uh, the last thing I need to do, it's been, been used for several loads now, and it's working good. It's not overheating, not underheating. I've got a load that's been running. It's about half dry, a uh, big load uh, in there, but I decided to stop it. And uh, I want to look, I've got an endoscope with a light on it, a, a camera on a cable. And um, I'm gonna, I've got it plugged into the laptop here. Uh, and this old laptop, it's only 1.6 gigahertz single core Celeron. It can't, I tried testing, it couldn't even record audio and video at the same time. But uh, it's just, it's working now just doing audio, I mean just doing video. And uh, see, I was going to record a video and maybe upload it, but I had to go down to 640 uh, or whatever. And uh, so you'll kind of get the idea, but I don't know. I doubt much of it will show up in the screen. It may all be white. And I've even got the, the, the lighting down one, the exposure down one. Now, if I go down any further, you might notice, actually, I, to me, it looks like my color skin and everything looks better. But I also know that things that are a little dark are just gone, too dark. It's a this this camera's not real not good at all at uh, this Comrie Comrie camera's not real good at all at uh, all this at lighting and stuff. Whoops. So let me get, I have to have a drink now. I'm, my mouth is getting so dry. All right. Uh, getting up wasn't such a good thing. You might have seen my cable going everywhere. Okay. Now, yeah, I need some light. Yeah, I've got the laptop plugged into the power so it won't go down. But we'll start a video and then we'll make it full, you know, big as it can get and uh, turn some light on. We'll get it in there first. Let's see. Yeah, we're not seeing anything now. Too much light just makes it all white, so. Won't need much, I don't think. That, that galvanized pipe is really reflective. I wanted to do this in the daytime, but when I got up, I was just too felt too bad. I was so worn out after those two days. Worked on it 13 hours one day, stayed up 27 hours that day. The next day, I think worked worked on it four to six hours, and uh, I was so tired. I slept 24 hours, so it took a while to get back to the living after that. Okay, my, oh, there's no light on at all. There we go. I didn't want to go up in there. I'm afraid that this light is just going to reflect and I won't be able to see anything. In sunlight, I might have been able to see some. Oh, I started to see something. Yeah. Oh, it's up all the way. I may have to play with the exposure on this. Okay, let's try going up the pipe. Yeah, the light's on all the way. It's about a 10 foot cable, so I'm hoping, oh, the auto exposure finally decided to do something, looks like. It's shutting it down. I think the audio exposure may be my problem now. Yeah, I think I better put it on manual. Yeah, I think it's on auto white balance and everything. Let's see if I can do that. I think you can do that while you're making a video. Thought you could. Oh, there it is. Even image controls. I wonder if I can do this on my leg. This is a. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, it's not on auto white balance. Maybe I should put it on auto white balance. See if that looks any better. No, still white behind there. Well, I'm going to leave it off for now. I think I just need to back off on the brightness. Now it is. I may have to stop that little video and start again after I. White balance temperature usually works best. Sharpness, bright, 
brightness, backlight compensation. Okay, I think just the brightness. It is back, brightness, contrast, saturation, and hue. You can usually get some kind of picture with all these settings. It's not helping right now. I think I just have the light too bright. Oh, there it goes. Let's see. Turn it all the way off again and start over. Maybe I should have the uh, auto white balance. I generally use it because when you change, move the camera around, it changes conditions and messes things up. Yeah. I didn't think that it, about it not working at all. I thought it would just be maybe a bit of a challenge. But... But it's actually uh, <sighs> well, let's get it hurts my back to bend way down there. I need something to guess I should have got me a piece of cardboard that I could hold in my lap. I didn't think about doing that. I started to get a piece of cardboard, and then I thought, well, it, this was in the box that that shipping sack that I've got it set on down there. I guess you can't see the floor anyway. <coughs> Um, anyway, I'm going to stop that video because all my changes and settings, I'm not quite sure if they'll change in real time like that. Uh, see if I can get the preview working before I... Has it turned the corner yet? Yeah. So it should be pointing straight up by now. I'm afraid this little idea is not working at all. Hmm. That sucks. Yeah, if I'd have been done it in the daytime, I might have been able to see through the pipe without any, you know, light turned on with this thing, or not much at all. All I'm seeing is a reflection of the light when I turn it on. You gotta have some light in there. You're not gonna see anything. Leave it on really low light and see. Like just barely can tell that it's on and see. Brightness may be too far down now. It's kind of sucky that you can't see the whole picture while you adjust it. You could do that on a big screen, though. You could be able to see it. Leaches it out all the way. I'm going to leave it kind of in the middle. Okay. I don't think it's a picture that can be seen, though. Let me look at those settings one more time. I might have something on automatic that's fighting me. Okay, the white balance was is on automatic now. Backlight compensation. Sometimes that'll actually fight you. Doesn't look like it's doing anything now. Depends on what I mean. Well, I guess it might might have basically backlight uh, with it reflecting off of that tin. Video controls. Okay, basic settings are good. Huh? I did change it to YE12, but you never know. If that's not... Well, it looked fine on my test, though, didn't it? Okay, so I'm going to stop it again. And... Uh, I'll change it to... You know, maybe this... Some apps just work better with their defaults, you know? Still waiting for it to stop.
Boy, the fan in that laptop, I think, is about worn out. It's just... I don't remember hearing it make a noise like that in, in the house. That's the only thing running. I'm gonna... This thing, I know, this thing's been running... I think it's been two years I've been using it for my web server. It's still not stopping. Whoops. Try it one more time. Some, oh, there it goes. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's not working good. I don't guess I need the big preview right now. See, even with the small preview, you still can't see that whole screen. That's why I was kind of just leaving it. Oh, yeah. Change it to the default. <coughs> MJPEG. Yeah, it looks no different. <clears throat> well, it looks a little different. Looks clearer. Just looks like something strange. Kind of reminds you of a medical endoscope video or something. Oh, this is aggravating me. I didn't expect it to just not work at all. <laughs> you turn it up all the way, the, the all that makes the light. You get like, a, I don't doubt it shows up on the camera, but it was like a little, almost a flat, a very slow motion flash of light and color going across the screen, and then it evens out. So, usually when things are reflected, you can still get it to work just by turning the light on just barely. But I've never used it inside of anything yet. It's always, well, a little bit, you know. And that thing always jumps to the center, too, when it's not full screen. Every time you do anything. That didn't seem to help. So, YUV, or I've tried, YUV is the only other one. Y, YUV 12. Oh, there's plain YUV. I guess that's the older version. See what it looks like. Didn't make any difference. Sometimes if your webcam's not working, and you know it should work because it's worked on other apps or other applications, look in these uh, camera output settings is what it's called on here. YU... Actually, this is not YUV. This is YU12. And then there's YV12. They're all looking the same. And you know, it's crazy because... This camera and my camera I'm shooting with when I use the USB on it, on different apps, it will not work at all unless you pick. Sometimes why you why U12 is the only one that will work. Did I try RGB? It's usually a little more fuzzy looking. I'm on the wrong thing. RGB three. Okay. Uh, I thought I had it set up to where I wouldn't have to fool with this anymore when I started this. Guess I should have stuck that up in the. I stuck it in the end of the pipe, and I thought, well, I'll it'll I'll find the right lighting and it'll work, you know. But it's not. I'm pretty sure MJPEG is the worst one for. If I did want to, I'd have to re-encode it to try to. Use it on YouTube. Well, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't have sound on it. I'd have to edit it anyway because I don't have sound on it. Where did I put it on? MJPEG. Let's look at it. It's some reason it seems sharper. So I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I see. It'll only do... Well, that's fine. 15 frames per second is good. It'll only do that in uh, MJPEG. It won't do 30. It, it, 30. 34 with slash 2, so I guess that's between 2 and 15 frames per second. And uh, it's been, it was on 34 slash 1. <laughs> but I don't want it trying to do 30 on this machine. It can't handle it anyway. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start another video. MJPEG, I might as well. I've already tried the other one. Okay.
get the screw deal up where I can see it. Uh, yeah, moving it doesn't. I thought maybe if I kept, if I moved it some, it might, uh, you know, change the reflections and where I could see. It doesn't want to go already. Maybe hitting some lint. Might be lint in there that I tried to. Uh, Blowing through it. Well, a couple of years ago when I made my own little bearing for the carrier bearing for the drum. Yeah, it doesn't even go that far. Well, that could mean that there's stuff in there. Be, the pro, I, you know, I mean, you can you can get disconnect this pipe. It's, you know, each joint's about three, three, four foot long, I think. But it... Uh, it's inside of like a sleeve joint up in the top and you can slide it up and down so far. And it, it doesn't come loose when you let it off and let it set in the floor. But if I was to take one of these off, then it would be feel, feel for, for, free to fall all the way down. And then I'd like have heck getting up there. I might never get it back together without getting in the attic. So I really don't want to get up in the attic to do that. Uh, I can hardly get around up there anymore. Uh, see, I'm thinking, okay, there, the door is about four or five feet from the pot. My big wall. I, I do have a nice stair, pull down stairs that I installed years ago. And I have plywood in this area that's, how wide is it? Four, I, I, don't, I guess it's four foot wide. So you'd have some plywood to get on. I don't want up there. <laughs> I absolutely don't want up there if I don't have to. Now it's getting weird artifacts. I'm not moving it or anything, but it's getting some weird artifacts. Like artifacts. I guess um, the machine is getting tired of making this video. I'm talking. That's actually about as far as I can get it to go. It's uh, binding enough that it's... Yeah, it's, I can't really get it. It's just starting to curl up. And this is a pretty stiff cable. See if anything comes out. See, with that little bit of light on, it's not much at all. Let's see what I look like. Oh, I'm upside down, but yeah, it's not super bright. So, uh, I'm surprised. Even when I stick it just in the very beginning, well, it's actually really dark. It's not making enough light to, there we go. You got to get really close to that metal to get it to show. It really likes to hang up. Yeah, I thought about taking the elbow off, but then you'd just be hanging up on that sharp edge of the pot. And it's not really this this elbow that's causing the trouble. As hard as it is to slide through there, I think it's hitting lint the whole way. I think there is a lot of lint in there. And that may be what ruined the... Uh, that's the first cause of ruining... That, that'll ruin your... Oh, make your dryer overheat and burn up your uh, heating element, which is what it did. Of course, it's really old. I don't know if we've ever put one in it. it was made, this thing was made in 93. Maybe one, and I just don't remember. But uh, turn the light up a little slow and see if it does anything besides wash it completely out. Maybe what I'm seeing is lint. Oh, I kind of think I see the end of the camera or a piece of the uh, little dark spot that might be probably not the end of the camera because it would be be reflection, you know, a reflection of it off the pipe. But that might be a Little spot looks like it might be a reflection of the cable. And that's just, oh yeah, it is a reflection of the cable when I move it. So if it doesn't have, it's not coated all in lint, that white, I mean, it looks like lint, actually. 
I don't I don't think it's all lint. I think it's the way the camera doesn't want to go through there, it makes me think it could be. Go real slow. Cause it just once you get it up in there, you know, it just goes where it goes. But it should unless I push hard on it, like if it's hitting the lint and I push hard on it and it bends it over. Let's see if I bend it over when I get it out. Then it would be looking at the side of the... No, I didn't push it over. Still just just like I left it. So, uh, let me uh, get this mouse on my knee here and stop the video. Okay. Doesn't want to move. Come on. There we go. Now, the uh, I'm just going to leave it on preview this time. I mean, what if making the video was actually causing my problem because the machine can't process everything? It would still do the job I need if it was just, uh, oh, I think I see a little pipe there. For a second. Yeah, I guess it depends on, I think it's still too much light. Though. Yeah, right there I can tell there's pipe there. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it reaches it out and then it re readjusts. That is the pipe. Okay. Let's see how far up in there I can get. I want to get as close to the top as I can. I was hoping to be able to see if there was something up in the top. I don't know if I, mean, if I said it today, but I say it over and over. I can't. I really can't safely get up on the roof anymore. I, I'll fall. But uh, and you might not be able to see that good anyway. I mean, if it was clogged up with a bird's nest, it should be right up in the top. But if it's clogged up with a whole bunch of lint, then you need to be able to look down it. And I think the cap is riveted on. I don't think you could look down it. So you might as well look up it, is what I was thinking. Okay, now that's where it wants to bind up. I think um, the only way I'm really going to feel like I know if it's clean is to get buy me one of those uh, uh, brush things. <coughs> And run it all the way to the end with, on the drill. Those br those sp brushes you can spin with a drill. Yeah, it's just binding up there. I think that might be lint. So let's keep the finger right there. Try to go slow on the way down. Uh, cable's in front of the screen, but I can't. I've got both hands busy right now, so. That may be lint that we're looking at. Hmm. I'm very leery of this thing, it going straight up out of 